The night before my opening night, I had this dream. I went out on stage, did the first number, and I could hear three people applauding in the audience. No one had come to the show. The very next day, there was a long line of cars down the road. All I could see were headlights. We were in New York. We were just there throwing around melodies. I said, you write your verses, I'll write mine. Because I know he had something to say. What, what was your opening piece? I just want to write yours down. So I'm tired of injustice. I'm tired of the scheme. Your lies are disgusting. So what does it mean? OK, wait, let me write When kicking me down. When kicking me down. I got to get up. As bad as it sounds. As bad as it sounds. The whole system. Is f. The whole system. Mother's gonna love us with this song. I told you not to do this, Janet. But you insisted. You tied my hands behind my back. I did not want to do a song like this. Okay, what, what else did you put? Rumors about you having James's baby. Are they true? Back in the day, they were saying that I had a child and I kept it secret. First, they were saying my niece Brandy was my daughter and that I gave it to Jackie to raise. When I was doing fame, a lot of the kids thought I was pregnant because I had gained weight and I had started taking birth control pills. And back then, you could pick up weight taking them, and that's what happened to me. So, that rumor started going around. How could I keep a child from their father? I could never do that. That's not right. As a child, I missed out on the love I never had. What are you laughing about? <laughs> Nothing. Just you're fine. Doing fine. No, what, what, tell me what's wrong, Jimmy. Nothing. You're just sitting there laughing. <laughs> And I'm trying to get this right. But you're doing fine. Don't be paying no attention to us. I can't. I'll have to take the <laughs> You gotta tell me something, because it's like I keep singing this over and over, and you, you're no not energy. telling me what I need. The energy. You know how you you know how to sing. You know, put the thing on it. No, man. Renee. What? Cool that up. You want me to cut it? Okay. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, you know, just some... I've been singing all night, and you keep saying, uh-uh, there's nothing, I'm sick of that. There's no energy, you can hear the, the way it sounds, there ain't no energy on the song. I remember there was some pressure from the label because they feel like, well, we've given you this contract, but you're now going to make a movie instead of, you know, going in the studio. But I think Poetic Justice was something she needed to do, to continue to grow as an artist. Done. It's like first day in school, huh? First time I met Janet, I just saw myself in her. She was just representing all of us, you know, all of the teenage girls that are just coming into ourselves and becoming a woman. It was a big deal for her at a time that we don't really get to see young black women um, falling in love on screen. Put me a lot of sweet poems. Kept my mind off the tongue. I think the first time I met Jan was when we had like a table reading. We had to wait to Jan's mom house. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. 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 Oh my Renee came from a background of being a cameraman, and Renee definitely didn't have that turn off button. But without an off button, it um, it can take its toll. Don, give, give your mom a kiss, Don. One more, Don. One more take. No, 
Renee, it's too planned. No, it's yeah, not planned. I'm telling you. Don't film my room. Okay, just one. No one will see this. This is just for Jen to have. Ready? Renee, don't film my mother. I'll follow your lips don't down. Don't film my mother. Okay. Why did it end? Why did it end? Yeah. Um. Probably just me being reckless. <laughs> Why did Jermaine and you break up? <laughs> oh, Ben. I had heard that he was cheating. <laughs> One of the weird things about dating Janet is that dating Janet attracts other women. Girls wanted to talk to me more because I was dating her, which was really weird. And uh, just, you know, I was a man. <laughs> it was not just that. I, I needed more than what he was giving me. He, he, he was a workaholic, and he was constantly working. I would not see him for like three weeks, a month, and soon as he would come in and he would go to the club or he would do, and I was like, just carve out just a little bit of time for me, even if it's just us hanging at home. And it was hard for him to do. Was that good? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because you're making music over there. No, I'm not. See? It's crunchy. Oh, look at this. Hmm? Yeah, Justin and his team has, have been trying to contact us about you doing the Super Bowl. Looking back on what happened, I mean, w would you want to do this Super Bowl show? Not really. And we have history with CBS. Yeah, we do. When I think about it, would it be nice to be able to perform? Yes. You know, our family, we, we love entertaining. But on the flip side of it, it's, it's you know, it's dredging up the, the past, reliving something that happened over, over 10 years ago. Who knew Justin first in our family? Was it Jackie? They opened for me. NSYNC opened for me. Oh. And then I got to know Justin. I started thinking, were you with me for the fame? Were you with me for the money? Were you with me for my family's name? I mean, those things go through your head. I haven't given up on love. I feel that it's more difficult being in the public eye and, and looking for love. A healthy relationship would be nice for me in the future. This week, Janet Jackson... The biggest change in my life is my son, Issa. He's my heart. He's my life. Janet's the happiest she's been. She found her man. And if that's the man God gave her, then she's been really blessed because her baby is such a blessing. I will sleep here. This is yours. I love being a mother. I love my new job. I don't want it to be too cool up here because he's just got a cough and I don't want him to get any worse. I knew she would be a great mother. She's an incredible mother. I have to say that. I'm an uncle for the umpteen time. Watching her balance motherhood with her back on tour, rehearsal, she's doing it well. She's killing it. Seeing Janet as a mother warms my heart, it really does. <laughs> because I never thought she was have, gonna have children. I never thought. And Issa is the sweetest little thing. If people think I suck, it's because I'm a mom. And I'm proud to wear that one, baby. I'm proud. <laughs> it's because I don't have as much rehearsal time because I have a son, a beautiful boy.